Welcome to this module on tracking and controlling a project. Tracking, it's when you have your project ongoing and you follow and you do the follow-up of the project. We are going to look how to enter data in order to track the project with MS Project. If everything is going well, then it's just fine. If there are anomalies, then maybe the project manager or the board or the steering committee will have to intervene into the project. It's Christian from Vision 6D and it's now what we are going to look how we do that with MS Project. We have here the timeline of the project. The project is a CRM migration project. CRM stands for Customer Relation Management System. It's an IT system that businesses use to track their customers from marketing demands to sales through support and technical support and after sales support. In this project, you see that we've started with initiation then we have a short step of planning and then conception of the system. And this is followed by this big part in yellow, which is in fact the migration of the data from an older system to the new system. After the yellow part, we will enter into a training and test phase to validate the migration. After that, we left a few weeks before to start the production of the new system. In this project, we also defined all the tasks that are related to project management and project control. I've taken here the statistics from the project information in MS Project. You can see here up that we have uh, the, the current status. This project is a project of about 1 million euros and the number of working hours are about 5,400 working hours. You see that we have the current status and actually the actual values haven't any input or uh, values actually, and of course there are no variances. One important thing to, to remember when you do tracking, it's you need to baseline the project. So in this project, you can see the 5th of April, a baseline was made for the project. What you will also see here down are the duration of the project, the work and the cost in three columns. The duration, it means currently the project is estimated to 426 days. The baseline has also 426 days. Actually, nothing was done, so there are actual zero day and remaining 426 days. You see also about the work, it's the same process nothing has been done and nothing is there uh, in the actual value. And the same here for the costs where you see that we still have our million. This is not exactly true because we worked in the project, we did things. The only thing that we haven't done, we didn't track the project. So this is what we have to do now. There is another point that I would like you to see. I go back into project and project information and statistics. And you see down here, we have the percentage complete of the project. We see that the duration is at 0%. For the moment, nothing was entered, no value were entered and the work as well. This project went on normally. And the first thing we have to do, it's the status date. So for that, I'm here on the project part and I go again to the part and group status. 
and I click on status date. The status date that I'm interested in will jump to July, the 10th of July, and I'm selecting that date. Simply saying here, OK, and this is the moment at which we look at the situation in the project. Nothing has changed in what we see here. So now I'm going to say certain things to MS Project. I'm taking the first task, which was the preparation of the project uh, proposal, and this of course went really well. So I go back into tasks, and you will see here in the group schedule, there are different possibilities that are here. I can mark a certain percentage of completion of the task. In our case here, I will say that this was done 100%. So I click on this and you see we have here a tick that says, yeah, great, this was done, project proposal. I will take the second one, the project approval. It's a zero day, it's a milestone. And I'm also going to say that it was planned and done on time. With this, I'm going down here to what is the planning session. And the planning session, I'm going to do it in a different way. I'm going to double click on the task to get to the task information. And here into the task information, you see that I have percent complete. And I'm going to say that it was done at 80%. I'm using this because we can just have that graduation either 75% or 100% with the button. And here I can come inside and choose 80%. So I'm going to say, okay, here. What you notice, it's that that task wasn't ticked as the other ones because it's not complete. Another thing that is interesting to, to be seen, it's that if I go a bit more into the project and I zoom in, we see that into the bar, we got now a darker bar. This is the percentage complete of this task. When it is from one side to the other one, it means that the task is complete. On the planning one, we see that it doesn't go till the end since we defined it as 80%. This, of course, was just to show one way to do it. And the planning, of course, in this project at that stage has been done 100%. So I can go and correct this. When everything goes well in the project, you don't have to go through all the, the tasks and say that they were completed by 100%. There is a shorter form for doing this. For that, I'm going up into project and I'm again going into the group status. And there, there is update project. And we are going to update the status at once till the date where we set the status days. That is to say the 10th of July. We can set it from zero to hundred percent it's what we are going to use and we could reschedule uncompleted tasks but this is something we are not going to do now and you see that we could select certain tasks for which we would like to do that or do the entire project so i'm going to do it for the entire project by clicking here okay and you watch what is going to happen in the, the Gantt chart. So we have a constraint, but for this, I'm going to say, okay. And at once you see that all the data here, all the blue bars have up to the 10th of July being considered as completed. And you see that we also have in the information column the checkbox that says that the task is completed. After keying those information, we can go into the project information and give a look at the statistics. 
And we see that our three columns here down about duration, work and cost, they have now actual values. We see that among the, the costs were already involved about 250,000 euros and that we still have remaining 786,000 euros. The complete percentage that has been done, we can see that duration, the project advanced already 20% and the work already a third of the work has been done into this project. I'm going to select another diagram which is called the tracking Gantt and the tracking Gantt has the particularity to show us a comparison between what was planned, what is in the baseline, with the actual values. The actual values you see them in blue and the reference, the one from the baseline, is what is in grey below. You also see that in this chart we immediately see here the percentage complete of each task. I'm going to change now the, the table of information that we have here. I will go into view and here among the, the table we use the entry one and I'm going to use the tracking one. With this we see that the appearance of the table is totally different. We have actual start, actual finish, percent complete, physically complete and actual duration and remaining duration and actual costs. So, of course, we can key in information directly into this table. We are moving ahead into the project and we are here at the task 15 where it is server installation. The IT department decided to use this project to try a new version of the operating system. And they started for this a bit earlier, but as it happens in test phases, it lasted longer because there were unexpected things happening. So I'm going to key in the information. I could do this directly here, but I'm going to show you another way to do that. I'm going back to the tasks and here up you see that we have an arrow with several possibilities and I'm going to choose update the task. It took the server installation task and the IT department anticipated some difficulties so they started earlier the task in July. I'm going to set it here. They started this the 6th of July, the 12th of July and they ended here, you see that I can change this and they ended it again in July by the 29th of July. So this is enough for me at this moment to, to say and I'm going to say OK and watch now what happens here. You see here in the middle that the task has been changed. It has started earlier. This is shown with the blue line and it ended later on. It's also shown with the blue line. So by comparing the blue line to the gray one, that is the one from the baseline, we see that here something unexpected lasted longer. And of course the consequence is that all the tasks that were depending on the end of this task were shifted on the right. So we see that all the tasks were now shifted. This change or delay didn't affect the production date. We still can go into production on the 11th August since we have here an important margin that was set in the way that we were thinking that things could happen into the 
project. After the server installation, we need to do the installation of the application itself, the CRM software. And this was done and completed 100%. So I'm simply coming here on the tracking table and I'm going to key in 100% complete. And we see that it automatically updated also on the tracking end. With that, you know now how to do the tracking of a project with MS Project. You enjoyed it, share it with your friends and colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you soon for the next module. Bye-bye.